this is Ananya and today we'll be continuing with our data structure series in Python. We have finished with searching and we did one type of sort also, right? We finished with bubble sort and today we'll be looking into what selection sort is, how does it work out, how do we code it and all of the other aspects. So let's get started. As usual, let's start by taking a simple array. Um, let me just draw this. I always take a little bit of time and I go beyond the screen. Okay. Okay, so let's say it is 65. Again, random numbers. So let me make it as dynamic as possible so that you can actually see it's working. 29 and let me take 13. Okay. So what this basically does is it concentrates on two factors or rather say two halves. You basically divide an array into sorted and unsorted. Okay, I'll be using these pseudonames. Uh, so just let me write it out here so that you all don't get confused throughout uh, the explanation part. And this is unsorted. All right. Uh, now, this being done, uh, let us actually uh, see how we can work about this. In this case, the entire array is unsorted, right? So, what we basically do is, we'll divide it. Okay? We'll divide the array into unsorted and sorted. And now currently, the sorted array which we have imagined is empty. There are no elements in it. Now the actual process starts. You have an element here in the beginning, let's say 65. And what you do is you start comparing. Okay. Whenever you find the minimum element, the mini most minimum, okay, minimum element, you swap it with the first element. All right. This might sound a little confusing, but we'll be seeing how we can actually go about it. Now let's start checking. You basically take a variable and you start checking it. So 65. So currently you assign the whatever number you get in the beginning as the minimum number. Now you check 23. Is 23 less than 65? Yes. So what you do is you make minimum is equal to 23. Next you check for 17. I'll just be putting arrows here. You'll keep a note of that. Next you'll check for 17. Is 17 less than 23? Yes, of course. So you make minimum is equal to 17. Now you check 17 and 29. 29 is greater than 17. No need to check it or rather say no need to uh, overwrite minimum, right? And next you check 17 and 13. Okay, let me just draw a big arrow out here. Um, there you go. 17 and 13. So 13 is less than 17, right? So now, after the entire first iteration gets over, the inner iteration, you have the minimum number as 13. Now what you do is, you swap 13 with the first element. Now 13 isn't, in this case, it's in the last position. You could have had it anywhere in the array. Now your new array basically becomes 13. So what you do, did is you basically swapped it, right? You swapped these two. So again, in this case also, you get the highest possible number in the array in the first pass. So 17, 29, and lastly you have 65. Now you, instead of an imagined empty array, which is sorted, you actually have an array which is sorted with a number in it. So let us say, um, now you again divide it. Don't mind if I'm overwriting. This is your new sorted and unsorted array. So you have, um, just a moment, you have sorted and this is basically your unsorted. Now you just leave this alone. Don't do anything with it. Now you only concentrate on this unsorted half. Again, same same task. Keep checking. 23, make that minimum. 
Next, you check 23 and 17. 17 is your minimum value and hence you overwrite minimum is equal to 17. Then check for 17 and 29. No change. Then 17 and 65. Again, 17 is always smaller. So your final new minimum value is 17. And hence now what do you do? You swap it, right? With whatever the first element is, which in this case is 23. So let me just write it here. You have your new array to be 13, right? Then 17. Now you swapped that with 23. So 23 comes here. Next you have 29 and 65 in the same positions. Now if you, if you can notice, you actually already have the array sorted, but the process doesn't end here because the, the computer doesn't understand that yes, it's been sorted. Our human eyes can understand that, right? All right, again, let's divide it. And this will be a repetition for you so that you understand a little more clearly. Uh, next, you have this as your sorted array and this becomes your unsorted array. Now again, you have a new minimum, which is currently 23. You compare 23 and 29. No change, 23 and 65, again no change. So your final temporary uh, minimum becomes 23. So let me say right here, 23 is your new minimum. Since it is already in this first position of the unsorted half of the array, you don't have to swap anything, okay? And uh, that's basically it, you know? And you go ahead with 29 and 65, you don't really have to check it. And you're done. This is all selection sort does for you. Uh, it's pretty simple. Only thing you just have to uh, check for the entire array in the first iteration or the first pass. And you basically have to keep going until the end. So that might be a small slight bad draw or it's, it's okay, right? We don't have a problem. Now that we've got what selection sort basically does, Let's go ahead and start coding, right? It's again a really short code, you know. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm sure you've got the basic uh, underlying concept of what selection sort does and how it works. Let's come to the code. Now, as I had told you all, it's a really, really sh small code. Here it is. It's just five lines. So um, let's look at this array that we have. It's pretty similar to the one that we just took. So obviously, we, as I mentioned, you have to iterate through the entire thing at least once. So you iterate through it using the uh, range and the length functions. And i, that is currently 0. So the minimum element, as we had just understood, is assigned to the first element. Minimum element variable, it gets the first position. That is, that is the 0th one, right? Next, you keep iterating again. That is the inner for loop I had mentioned that we've got to take. So what we say is for j in range i plus 1. Obviously, yes, it has to be i plus 1 because we are checking every next element. And we iterate until the end of it. So length of it, length of the array. Now, if array of minimum element is greater than array of j. So what does that mean? j is basically getting the uh, value 1 assigned to it in the first pass. So array of 0 is greater than array of 1. If that is the case, then the new minimum element gets overwritten using the value of j. Pretty simple, right? So hence, in this case, in the first pass, minimum element becomes 24 from 65. And after this for loop, the inner for loop gets executed, you have to concentrate on this line. Okay, this line that you see down here, remember the swapping that we had to perform, whatever minimum element that is found, that is in this case 16, with the first element. So array of i, that is basically 0, and array of whatever is the minimum element, number of the minimum element, and you swap it. So array of i, array of 0 becomes array of minimum element, and array of minimum element becomes array of i. Pretty simple, right? You just swap it and you're done. You print it. We know all the printing process. There's no problem with that at all. So let's run this. Okay, we'll do that later. All right. And there you go. This is your sorted array. Again, a pretty simple code. Pretty nice. It's a little updated and a little improvised version of the ones that we've done previously. So I hope you all got it. Now, 
slowly you all will try and you know understand what your favorite sorting algorithm might be so stay tuned for more videos such as this bye bye i'll see you all soon